Hello, today I want to talk about tokenizer. And in my previous video, I already explained about tokenizer, but in that video, we using the pre trainer tokenizer. So now I want to build a custom tokenizer. Why I do this? This is because when I am using a pre trainer model for this project, the result is not good. So now I want to build a dedicated model for my case. Okay, what we need for to build a custom token is this script and here the data set. The data set is like here. So so this is the content of the data set. As you know, in here we have a many metal code. In here, we have our visibility, weather, uh, cloud, and then temperature, dew point, pressure, and uh, here, NOSIC is the next trend of weather. I will try to explain line by line. So, in here, we try to import all needed model and function. And now in here, this is the data set that this is the declaration of tokenizer. And as you can see here, to initiate a tokenizer, we must declare what model that we want. So in here, we have workpiece, PPA, BPE, and Unigram, and work level. And in my experiment here, I think the best is workpiece. Why I can say it's the best because the target that we want when we build a tokenizer is to make the vocabulary. I already explained this in my previous video. The vocabulary is a little as possible, but it's but it also can handle all possible data or word that come to the model. And in here we have the normalizer. Normalizer is like the processing the pre-processing before the word or sentence processed by tokenizer so in here first we do the normalizer for unicode so all the unicode like a chinese character or invisible code or invisible character it's all handled by this and in here after we handle the unicode we doing the lowercase so word like in here we have metal right so word like metal 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 all of this is same because all of them will be the lowercase so it will become this and after that, after we do the lowercase, we will strip asset. We trim the sentence. And in here, this is the pre-tokenizer. And this is what we do in here is split the, the sentence with space. So if we have a code like, for example, like this, we have a sentence like this it will be split by space so it will become metal and so on so this is no this is the default treatment and in here this is the special token here we have unknown and end of text end of text is like its name this is to mark that that this is the end of the sentence or of the of the text and in here this is token for unknown word yeah this is token for the unknown word so when we build a vocab for example the vocab is like we have metal, we have uh, SGT, and etc. When we have a word, for example, ABCD, 
because A, B, C, D not in the vocabulary, it will be replaced by unknown like this. Yeah, something like this. And in here, this is the trainer for the model of the tokenizer. So it must be matching. If we using word piece, the trainer must be word piece too. Actually, the most simplest model for the tokenizer is word level. So let's use word level first. Level trainer. And in here, we limit the focal body to only 40 and special token we using like this. And in here, we train the tokenizer using this file. This file. And the trainer we declare it is this. And in here, I'll, I just okay. I will just mark it here. In here, we try to encode meta in here, and after that, we try to print the token that we have when we encode this meta. Okay, let's do this. And as you can see here, the result of the encoding metal is metal one. What if we using this? And as you can see here, because we RTX, let's um, we RTX. Because WRTX not included in the dataset. It's encoded as unknown. And let's see what the content of the tokenizer. Oh, I forgot to save. I will try to run this. As you can see here, here are the focal berry of the tokenizer, <coughs> and as you can see, we only have a 40. This is the 40 most common word that appear in the dataset, and as you can see here, a word like, for example, let's see. Oh, it's included, but what if we using pressure 1009? It's not included. So when the code of the when the code of the metal is not 100 elephant, if it's the code if the pressure is, for example, Q, eh, no. 1011 if the code is Q1009 it will be encoded as unknown and to prevent this of course we must increase the vocabulary level okay let's just let's not declare the vocabulary level let's just let the module to decide what vocabulary level that we need and as you can see here if we let the model to decide the vocabulary level we will have 3000 vocabulary big vocabulary is not good with our machine because the computation or the cost for the model to run will be high so that's why we must i think we must change the model and based on my experience the best model is workpiece 
Oh yeah, I forget. What if we include Q one thousand nine using this work level trainer? As you can see here, it's encoded as unknown. You know, this is not good. That's why this is the second reason why we must change the model to work this. And let's see. And as you can see here, if we using word paste like this, it's encoded like this. So, if we using the word level, the length of the token will be shorter, but we will always or almost found the unknown like this. But if we using word paste, the length of the token will be a little longer, but it will be accommodate all the possible input that found the model let's see the tokenizer and as you can see here you can see here the size is also 3000 and i think this is not good because 3000 will be will be high cost to run the model that's why we limit the vocabulary in here vocab size Let's see, how about 80? And as you can see here, because we limit the vocabulary significantly, the answer for that is, will be like this. And see here we found many single character as the token and maybe you confuse what is this double hashtag this is the prefix for the soup word so when you found something like uh, when you fall so if we decode something like for example gg the token will be G will be 24 and 41 so this is to mark that this character is the continuation of the word so if we don't find the double hashtag like this so it's marked that that character is the first character in the word yeah, something like that. How about we set the vocab size to 30? Oh, as you can see here, the length of the token getting longer. So there's no double zero, but only zero and zero in here let's see the tokenizer although we set the vocab size at 30 looks like the model can minimize the vocab total to 30 because i think seven i think 78 is the limit of the vocab if we're using word piece and now maybe you ask yeah we already set the token tokenizer now how to use it okay i will explain this using new script and let's run this and as you can see here the way to use the tokenizer is quite simple we just need to import this module and this function and then after that we use it like this we use it this tokenizer as a function and we will get here in here we have a input id and we have a token type and attention mask this input id is the index in the vocabulary for example in here we have 
we have for the first token we have 27 27 is here M and the next is 43 43 is oh I'm sorry here I must using token beta that's why it's not matching so let's run this again and as you can see here we have 27 we have M and for the 51 we will have here E E with double hashtag so it's the mark for the token with the token of support and we also have T T is in 50 yeah and like that and so on okay see ya